Okay, here's my review of the HUD heads up display. One that you could buy right here on like on Amazon. Check that out, it's kind of cool. Uh, this is with the reflective adhesive and this is what it looks like. So it's kind of cool, right? I'm not sure if I'm a fan because I can see that square, but it's kind of cool when you don't use the adhesive. Here, I'll, like, I'll move the HUD right now. So this is what it looks like right now with the adhesive. Let's just get rolling a little bit down the neighborhood. All my neighbors are gonna be weirding out on me. Oh, what's this guy doing? Yeah, whatever. Let's go, come on, come on. All right. So it matches the miles per hour, the actual uh, speedo. This connects with the OBD2 connection. There you go. Here we go. And we are parked. Guys, here's what it looks like without you have to be careful with this because i bent it watch this it actually looks pretty good without it i lied looks better with that <laughs> but you got to be careful with this right here with this uh little sticker otherwise it looks kind of gross there you go okay my major gripe with this already is that the adhesive that this thing comes with was horrible the light on here it was horrible it didn't stick worth for crap see how it's just kind of hanging there it's not sticky at all so same thing with the ad 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 adhesive you guys check this out i'm shooting this with my iphone <laughs> i'm caught anyway you can see that there's the heads up display reflector if you want it if you want to call it that and here's the actual the mirror piece that's, that sits up in the windshield from the inside let's go inside i'll show you oh boy it's cold today anyway here you go here's the heads up display and then when you turn on the unit it'll project onto here it's now it's not really like a projection it's more like a mirror here let's try it ready Boom, there you go. Now, we did it at night, and that'll be the next footage, or the footage right before this. And that's what it looks like in the daytime. So this is actually my first time looking at it, and I gotta say, it's not too bad. Of course, it's not as sunny today, because we have clouds, <laughs> it's a little overcast, so. Like I said before, the main thing you gotta kinda worry about is this little reflective deal. When you pull it out of the uh, packaging, don't, because see how there's like little dots all over the place? Those are from my finger, little impressions when I was putting it on, so kinda be careful. Other than that though, it's kinda cool. And of course my gripe again, as I was saying before, is that adhesive, that goes on the unit and then of course this thing uh, apparently I was told that you can buy more of these little rectangles so I guess you're probably gonna need a couple of those but this thing uh, if you really wanted to keep it stationary you're gonna have to get some 3m tape or uh, some other type of adhesive and put it on the back of this thing rather than using the one that it came with so maybe it's supposed to be that way so you can move it around the dash but um, I figure if it's going to be something that's permanent, it's permanent. This particular unit actually uh, connects right here with your OBD2 connection under the dash. So that's how I have it running. But you could also plug it into your cigarette lighter adapter. It comes with those two uh, different connectors. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The second connector is just a USB port. So you'll have to find a way to connect it into uh, your dat or your your lighter plug. <laughs> okay, let's go for a ride real quick. Let's check it out. One mile per hour already. <laughs> okay, and we want to kind of 
match it up to our dash. And I guess there's a way to do that. So you're gonna have to read the instructions really well. Um, I like to just get my stuff and just go, plug and go, like everybody else does. <laughs> but it looks like so far, it's kind of right on. 16, 18 miles an hour. Uh, shows a little more, shows a little faster. Okay, now it's catching up. So 24 and 24, so that's not bad. That's cool. Yeah, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to see it right now during the daytime. So, that being said, this is, out of five stars, let's say, I wanna say it's a 3.5, pushing a four, I would say four if there was a way to get this particular unit. You know what? It's a gift, but I don't know how much it was. Let's keep going this way. Clearly, if I don't care about looking at the unit right there, then I'm, it's all good. But you know, what do you expect? Now there's other ones that have the flip up that, that goes right, right here and it just goes boop, comes down, boop, boop. So that's very cool. Anyway, that's it. I give this a three and a half stars, three and a half out of five. Only because the unit out of the box, it had no instructions. Well, there were real basic instructions and out of the box it was, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go with, Four for the price, four as a gift, three in comparison to better units. Oh, you see how it looks right there? It looks all distorted. I don't like that. Oh, that yeah, looks better. The three, three looks a little distorted. So we're gonna get in trouble. I'm at a three and a half, four. Maybe that's really high. The four is real high. Three and a half, just because it's about a mile per hour off. It's close, it's close. Hey, rather be showing a little bit slower than my real speedometer, that way when I'm speeding, you know, over here, I'm actually going slower here, right? No, that means faster here. Damn it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh, and check out the links in the description if you wanna get one of these or something similar to these because it's actually pretty cool to have, which I kinda like, I kinda like it. Go left. Alright guys, peace out.